Hey everyone, welcome back. We have another update video for Remnote today, and we're really excited for these new changes. So let's get right into it. We've now built an Anki importer to complement the Anki export that was already available. Head on over to your user settings and you'll see an import from Anki button. You can import Anki deck packages or plain text files. Just browse for your file and select import. The importer will maintain as much of the formatting as possible, so decks will become folders and documents. Text editor and card types will also be preserved, so close cards will become close cards in Remnote. Any tags in Anki will also be turned into tags on that particular rem. And all cards imported from Anki will also be tagged with the hashtag AnkiCard. Even extra information from Anki cards will be imported as well and included with our new power up rem extra card detail, which I'll cover a little later in this video. Importing from Anki deck packages will retain more of the formatting of the original cards. At this time, images and space repetition history are not yet supported by the importer, but we hope to build upon these for a future update. Next, we've added a trash bin feature. Now, anytime you delete batches of REM, a notification will appear at the top of your screen with a quick link to your trash. The trash bin will contain all of the REM you've deleted within the past two weeks, along with every deletion instance listed in chronological order. You can restore each instance with a single click. This will recover all the deleted REM back to their original document, as well as create a new document called undeleted rem so you can further trace your history. Another way to access your trash is by going to the settings, account, and then trash. As mentioned previously, we've also added the extra card details power up. Now this allows you to add extra information to your flashcards that will only appear once you reveal the answer. To use this power up, create a child to your rem and tag the child with extra card detail. Now, every card type from your rem, whether it's a close, multi-line, or both simultaneously, each flashcard will have the extra card detail displayed after revealing the answer. And I'll show you that here on the preview. This will allow for new workflows and applications in addition to the concept descriptor framework, so you really have a lot more flexibility with your flashcards. And as always, we've implemented many new changes to the interface and bug fixes across the board. Head on over to the update page to see a list of all the polishes, upgrades, developer features, and bug fixes that we've implemented in this update. And last but not least, you probably didn't miss it, but we have a new logo. Check it out in the top left hand corner and let us know what you think. We just want to say from the Remnote team that we really appreciate your patience and value all the bug reports, so please continue to send them in so we can continue to make Remnote better for everybody. Alright, that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you around.